let me know if we're all good, if the sound's good, if the picture's good, all that. And then obviously Levi is a little bit, uh, he's running late. Who's in here? April Frick, what's up? Paul Honeyman, freaking awesome dude. Melissa, what's up? Uh, the Dirty Knobs, what's up? Trish Riddle, what's up? Drew Lentz. I'll be listening. My girl has me slaving away on her truck. <laughs> Drew, get it, man. I know all about work, bro. I got lots of love and respect for you, man. Uh, Renee Keith, hello. Lorraine Keller, what's up? Sandra Ferguson, what's up? Once we get into this thing, I'm kind of just reading through here, and then once we get going, I'll tell you what we've been up to and what we're doing, you know? Uh, CC, Sandy Wilkerson, Campbell's Creation, Miss Green Lansbury, uh, hello, CC, hello YouTube bad boys, laugh out loud. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, perfect weather over here. You, Angelina, and Ember should come enjoy Phoenix life. CC, that sounds amazing, but I can't enjoy any life till this bus right here is done. And as you can tell, it's a ways out. Um, Deanna Haas, hello. We got Jaylena up in here. Hey, bad, what's up? What you doing? Debbie Conway. Uh, Debbie, I just talked to Levi, and uh, tomorrow would be great for what you're talking about. Um, Paul Honeyman sent $50 to my PayPal, bro. I get rich and famous, man. I'm flying you out here for steak dinner, bro. MVP. Um, I appreciate it, man. Joshua Piera, what's up? Charles GS. Is that Charles Zemanski? What, what are you, bro? Are you changing your name so nobody can find you or what? He said, Zup, Zup. Sandy Lee, hey, everybody. Please, so Gloria's GG Pink. Please say hi, GG Pink. Hi, GG Pink. <laughs> What's this right here? The homies Epic Schoolies just hopped in here. And they just did a $20 super sticker. And it looks like it, it's a victory rhino. <laughs> Epic Schoolies. Caleb, what's up? Thank you, homie. I'm going to tell you guys something about Epic Schoolies. So, these dudes are my straight up homies. Um... The thing I really like about the bus community is we're not competition, most of us, right? So it's like Caleb has a rad shop up in Washington, and I mean, we're, there's no book for any of this. Nobody went to, to college for any of this. There's no professional, like we're all figuring this out as we go. Um, anyways, uh, I mean, there's stuff I don't, I've never done, right? And there's stuff other people haven't done. And the one thing I really like is we can call each other and, you know, you know, help each other out, figure things out. Like, I call Caleb probably once a month, you know, trying to figure something out. <laughs> and another shout out to our band quest. Uh, I talk to them, same thing, probably once a month like trying to figure things out, you know, because I don't know every, I don't know everything. I don't pretend I do. So much love, Caleb, from Epic Schoolies. Our van quest as well. You're probably not in the chat, but I got love. Um, Charles GS. All right, I better get back to the chat. I was uh, talking for a little bit. But moral of the story, as people, not just builders or whatever, we all need to lift each other up, not tear each other down. Yeah, sure, we all make mistakes, right? Friends should be able to talk to each other, and we help each other, you know? That's what it should be. Looks like we got Levi coming. The Giants coming up in here. Uh, Charles GS, those windows aren't going to seal themselves. Charles, so I'll get into a little bit of what I've been up to. Um, yeah, there's enough people here. We'll just get right into it. 
So, what's up? All right, we'll get, back, hold on, we'll get back into it in a little bit, man. Look, hey. I'm a coming. Hey. I made it. it is. Hey. That's the bus what giant right up? here. <laughs> nice. Uh, How are you guys doing today? I was just about to tell a story about what we were doing this weekend. Oh, snap. Go so, for it, bro. A lot of you guys know that I just finished the Brewster bus, right? Just finished it, put the tour out. I'm busy. You know, I have no time, zero time to do anything besides what I have to do. And uh, I just finished Brewster. I usually take the new builds out for a week and test them out. That's what I've always done in the past. And uh, I just don't have the time. So I was like, oh, it'll be all right this time. I need to get on the big bus and get it done, right? <laughs> but, you know, a couple of you guys, shout out Charles and a couple other people were like, listen, man, you need to do your due diligence. You need to take that bus out. There's a couple people who told me to do it. Yep. So oh, yeah. Levi and I took two days and we were just out on the Oregon coast. That's why we were quiet. You didn't hear no shorts. You know, yep. Because we didn't want people to know we were gone. I, I mean, me and I thought of two to yeah. five different shorts we yeah. could have done, and we couldn't yeah. do them. I was so like, yeah. come on, they're fun! Because we didn't want people to know we weren't here. Yep. Um, but anyways, we were just out on the Oregon coast for a couple days. Should I release it right now? No. Oh, yeah, that one, go for it. Um, we were just out on the Oregon coast, and we were testing that build out, and <laughs> pass with flying colors. So yeah, I'm yeah. very fortunate that I, I only buy 7.3 Power Stroke short buses, and I have a shop that is just ridiculous with the mechanics. And like they went through it, they put a new IDM module in it, they put a new starter in it. That thing runs. Oh, we were scared that it'd die. Like we didn't even know if we'd make it to the mechanics. Because the starter was so bad. Yeah, I mean yeah. it would take like a solid thirty seconds. Now, now, as soon as you hit the key, starts right up. Drives. It's pretty nice. Mechanically, it's solid. And then, uh, I mean, nothing broke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you guys have been we on this, we put it through a mega stress test yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, I, if you guys have been following this channel for a while, I do not hide my mistakes. <laughs> Everybody knows it. I fix my mistakes. And in the Vin Diesel build, I redid the plumbing three times. <laughs> I have video on YouTube of me testing the plumbing in Vin Diesel and it literally blowing up and spraying everywhere. I don't hide <laughs> that stuff. I'm out here figuring it out. That's how I learned how to do pecs. That's perfect. Uh, crowned in style actually taught me how to do pecs. But anyways, everything worked great. Plumbing, stove, everything. Shower. And uh, we have a vlog coming out, both me and Levi, this Tuesday, of the different POVs of, of the, the trip. maiden of the maiden voyage of the Brewster bus. The only thing I'm gonna change is I need to add one more snap to a curtain, to because uh, there was a little bit of light leakage, and that's it. I mean, that's not bad. Honestly, I'm really, you're bad. right. You're okay, right. Let me get back into it. I know. Uh oh, uh oh. YouTube pushed. I was talking for a while, bro. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I had. Uh, I guess I can tell you guys, I had a sponsorship. I got me a solar panel battery to run my system. Yeah. So I'm working on that nonsense video prepping for that. I think you just dropped it, right? I did just drop. Yep. Yeah. As an unboxing review. Well, you should let us. You should let them know that you got the electric video. That's right. I do have the electrical video coming, my friends and amigos. Yeah. So this is a review for a battery. Yeah. Uh, the actual setup and this time me and Isaac spent is a yeah. different video altogether, but this video shows how it's all set up, done. My bus is full solar now. Um, so I'm stoked. I'm just going to go ahead and say it right now. YouTube pushed me all the way to the bottom. I have no idea where I'm at. So <laughs> if I missed your comment, I apologize. I'm going to start from where I think I was at and go from there. Guys, and then, one last thing. I'm stuck at 5999 subscribers. It won't go up that one subscriber. One of you be the 6,000 subscriber. Yeah, one of y'all be the 6,000 <laughs> subscriber to Levi the Giant. It's, it's so weird, though. Uh, maybe YouTube don't want you to crack 6K, bro. I know it, that wanker. <laughs> All right, I need to get in the chat and talk to y'all, because y'all are here to talk to us. So we're here to talk to you. That's so, right. MCM. Hello, my favorite YouTuber, MCM. 
Hello, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Um, yes, thank you. I, I'm just going to touch on this real quick, too. Um, social media is a crazy place, right? Uh, I kind of relate it to high school. <laughs> they, they look at your numbers and everybody's judging you by how many subscribers you have or whatever, and you're as cool. It's dumb, right? It really is. There's people that get high subscriber counts and they think they're better than everybody. Mm-hmm. Not me, bro. I'm just a creative person, so I like creating video. I like having ideas. I like building buses. I like creating things. Um, and then people, some people like it, some people don't. And that's why I'm here. I'm just a creator, period. I'm not, I'm not better than nobody, you know? <laughs> I'm just me. And everybody, I, I feel like this world would be a better place if there wasn't jealousy and envy, but unfortunately, Always gonna be like that. Unfortunately, uh, you know, it's a thing. Alright, I'm off that kick now. <laughs> uh, I have officially done what needed to be done. Charles DS. Isaac, you might just want to charter a plane and bring everybody in for a party. Charles, oh, snap. Uh, I've honestly thought about doing an event just to gather all the homies in one place for a couple days. But. That'd be pretty cool. I have so much going on, I can't do it right now. But, you know, once I'm done at this shop, don't be surprised if I end up doing a festival. Actually, that'd be really cool for sure. I've already done one before, it was really fun, but <laughs> then same thing, you know, money got involved and your friends started attacking with knives. Sounds about right. <laughs> Daphne Lansborough, $50 super sticker with a big old lemon and a little lemon. You're making me miss my baby girl. <laughs> Thank, That's adorable. Daphne, thank you so much. Jaylena FaceTimed me earlier, and Ember is starting to eat real foods. She is. Oh, my God. The little face she made when she was like, do I like this? Is This te this texture is weird. What, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, she had this. She's adorable. Just adorable. I miss my baby so much. I told Jaylena I want her back now. By the way, guys. What's up? I hate to shamelessly promote myself some more, but I got a new handle. YouTube's not just random numbers. You can go to YouTube. Uh, dot com forward slash Levi the Giant. Bam. To the channel. I love it. Ah. Oh. Hey. Us plus a bus. What's up? They're saying Ayo. So us plus a bus. Super rad YouTube channel. Please Ooh. drop your link I'll in here. I'll check it out. Sure. Uh, they have the same size bus as I, uh, as that we're building right here. It's about 30 feet. Ooh. Us plus a bus. Same thing. See, I like good people. Right? If you're a good person, I don't care if you got three subscribers, no subscribers, or five million. And us plus a bus. What? Oh. Us plus a bus, like, literally, I was messaging them the other day, and, like, they're totally cool. Like, giving me tips on YouTube, and, like, I don't know. Just good people. So, us plus a bus, good people. By the way, that's all I allow in my life, is good people. The bad people, I gotta snip them with scissors. Us plus the bus even corrected me. You have to put at in front of your name when you're shouting at your channel. Uh, Thank you, Us plus the bus. I'm still learning. <laughs> I did not know yeah. that one. Uh, Melissa Malzone, most schooly people love and care about each other. Melissa Malzone, you were right about that. Most. <laughs> yeah, most. Uh -huh. I, I actually never thought this. I'm not going to go too much into detail, but to add my side of the story, I never thought I'd see as much YouTube drama in real life because, you know, I thought it was like a lot of people manufacture that nonsense. But being here and learning some stuff, I'm like, it's real. Why is, why is, there's no, no need for drama. And yet people well, just do it. Well, it's the thing crazy. is, bro, anybody who has any form of quote unquote sess in their eyes mm -hmm. is going to have a hater. The one thing I always tell people is if you aren't in somewhat way successful in what you do, mm -hmm. nobody cares about you. It's crazy, when you man. got something going on is when somebody cares about you. Freaking crazy. You know, you think anybody would talk bad about me, they wouldn't even know who I am. That's true. Yeah, actually. So, you know. By the way, thank you guys. I have 100% surpassed 6,000. Oh, you, you guys did? are the bomb. Already? Oh, Woo! yeah. They went crazy. <laughs> I love it. Listen, I was on. Isaac, you, <laughs> I truly love all... <laughs> uh, look at you. <laughs> Uh, I truly, bro, you distracted me. Uh, what am I doing? 
Isaac, I truly love all your build. You keep the character of the buses. I love the bus windows. That's one reason I want to build one and live in it. Mel Melissa, yeah. The, I always tell people there's way easier builds you can do besides a school bus. Yep. You know, so it's like I like school buses. I don't I don't know why. I just I I think so I used to be an old punk rocker. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that. And I remember watching this documentary on social distortion when they first started as a band and when they went on their first tour and <clears throat> they welded a couple bunks in an old school bus and they went on tour across the whole country in an old school bus, this little punk rock band, which social distortion is huge now. Really? But I was like, that's the first time I ever seen this. And I don't know if that stuck with me. Or... I love buses, right? Mm -hmm. I, I want it to look like a bus. If I wanted an RV, I'd get an RV. <laughs> That's you know, true. it's like, sure, it's not as efficient. Yeah, the windows are single pane. So what? You know? So there's negatives and positives to everything. Oh, yeah. Some people see negatives while well, you see them as positives. I don't know. It's character. These things got character, man. I love old school buses. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I just do. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a lot of bus stuff going on on this channel over here, you know what I'm saying? That's all we do is bus stuff, isn't it, Levi? Well, see, my channel, I have a chance to be different. Oh. And I'm thinking of box trucks. I'm still trying to yeah. debate whether I want a box truck. I like the fact that you can come into a bus and sit down, drive, stop, and not have to get out of your vehicle whatsoever to get back to your living space. Yeah. That's nice. With a box truck, I mean, you get a little more space and whatnot, but you have to get out every time. If yeah. you cut, if you, like, do a lot of cutting to the structure, well, you do, you lose structural integrity. Not only that, bro, but box trucks don't have value. You build out a box truck, it makes really? you no money. You build out a school bus because of how popular they are, and you tripled your investment. I mean, really? Honestly, yeah. You know. Okay, bro, we got to get into the chat. We keep rambling. <laughs> hey, they come uh, the heroes ramble. Leave her wild. That, so if a lot of you guys don't know, leave her wild is my baby. My baby mama. There you go. That's my lady. <laughs> uh, that's my girl. Uh, Ember and I miss you like crazy. Well, shoot. The feeling is mutual. We are so stoked that you're able to go out and enjoy life and see family. But yeah, we wish you were here, but, you know, mm -hmm. the thing about it is it gives us all perspective. Yep. You know? I mean, you're, you, you haven't lost it, but that saying is true. You don't know what you have till it's gone. Yeah. They're coming back, but man, little yeah. Amber hugging that little girl every day. She's adorable. Yeah. Charlotte Ann, tell us, I'm so impressed by how hard you work and your tenacity. You set a very good example by your honesty, goodwill, and your achievements. Charlotte, thank you. Uh, I will answer that by saying I used to be a terrible person. <laughs> he uh, still is like an obsessed. I was a terrible person years ago. Awesome. And I remember I never quite achieved anything that I reached out for years ago. And then I had, you know, I had some kind of realization. It's like, I'll never truly achieve anything if I'm a bad person. I remember you telling me about this story. I remember, I remember this. And I remember I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done being a terrible person. I'm going to change today. I want to be somebody that someone can trust. I want to be somebody that is just a good human being. And I made a vow to myself that day. And, you know, I'm human. I've definitely made mistakes since then. But it's like I try to consciously be a good person. And I swear, everything I've ever reached for since that day, I've achieved. So I think it's true. If you're a terrible person, you'll never, ever, truly see success. Okay, Tom. Uh, Kent Bell's creation says, have you ever done a root phrase, Isaac? Uh, no. I don't think I will, because I'm short. I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I we, so. I will say this, so we were going to do a roof raise on the big bus before, really? the, before the motor blew up. Uh, I don't know how much I can give away, but there was a company that was going to come in here and basically do a roof raise for me for free. Oh, I remember that. So that I could make a marketing and how-to video for them. Um, and then obviously he needed to get the kid out, the bus blew up and was at the shop. 
I was really excited to learn welding. It just didn't work out. Do I need a roof raise? No. Am I going to go out of my way to do a roof raise in the future? Probably never. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep building after this bus in Minion. I think Minion is going to be my last bus that I'm going to build and sell. Yeah, because he's going to help me on my build. Which oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm a phone call away. <laughs> but it's like... a of hands in the winter. <laughs> I just... I want to live my life. You know, having Ember changed everything. You know, I'm a straight up hustler. I've been grinding since I was in, since I even knew a thing about money, I've been hustling. So it's like, I've been hustling my whole life and then seeing Ember, it's like, I just want to spend time with her. You know, it's like, I don't want to spend my whole life working anymore. Mm -hmm. So, you know, after Minion, I'm stepping way back. And I'm going to go into social media full-time again, which I left social media full-time when I started the shop. And I'm going to go back to doing social media full-time and then just spending time with my daughter and my, ba- and my, my baby, Jaylena. Sandy Lane says, you're definitely a good guy, Isaac. You are too, Levi. I'm such a special now. I make a conscious <laughs> effort to be a good person. Believe me, there's times I want to reach out and touch somebody. That's, uh, that's <laughs> rephrase, rephrase. There's times I want to reach put out hands, and just... Put hands on something. Just, <laughs> rephrase. Just backhand. There we go, you know that's better. Mean? But I'm trying to keep it, keep it together. <laughs> uh, just. I love it. There's some people that, bro, they need to get checked. Oh, yeah. The right. world is too free nowadays. And everyone thinks that they're free to do what they want. Bro, okay, in the chat, in the chat, let's go. Uh, 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 um, okay. BC Bullcrap, what channel? Uh, I assume we're talking about Levi. Levi the Giant. Oh, did I join my channels? Hey, I so Rachel Philpot said she was the 6,000th subscriber. Oh, snap, Rachel! Wow. You go, gal. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Tara Hillier, hit that like button, y'all. Yeah, man. All right. I'm, wow. I'm definitely pushing down. GS Trailblazer, aren't you excited for the rain tomorrow and for a week? Snow level is also dropping to 3,000 feet, and ODOT is expecting 4 to 10 inches on the pass. So, Guys, I think I'm officially not leaving Ninja Tom soon. No. <laughs> We're having a love-hate relationship with the weather report. So the thing is... That 10 days of rain or 14 days of rain should kill the forest fire that's creating all this smoke that is literally killing your boys here, right? Oh, my God. It's like 500 on the daily. It's but, ridiculous. but at the same time, now we're actually trapped in a shop bay for the next week. So we're going to go. Longer, and I did, I did lease a bigger shop bay. Levi and I, we haven't been working in there yet. So Levi and I are going to go in there after the chat and kind of get it ready to really start working in tomorrow. So mm-hmm. so the videos are going to change scene here pretty soon. And now we got to, after this, got to go into the bay and figure out our lighting situation so we can actually have yeah. light too. That's going to be a fun one. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm pushing down, y'all. I know I'm behind. My... I'm, keeping, I'm keeping up on the bottom of the chat. I'm keeping it rolling. All right. I'm pushing down to see if I'm, like, missing anything. Lindsay says, being dad is going to be the best job you ever had. It will be awesome to see you document her first years through the 50 state. I'm excited for what's to come with you and your young family. Honestly, every time I get a little crazy or I'm about to lose it, I just think about my daughter. It's like, and, and I think about, like, how I don't matter anymore. It's like... What I'm trying to do, that's all cool and everything, and like, what do I want to accomplish? But like, really, it's about my daughter. It's about providing for her. It's about helping her turn into a better person. I don't know. It's just it's so different. You know? It doesn't matter what I want to do anymore. I just want to build a better life for her. Yeah, it's a kid will do to you. Melissa says, Isaac, I agree. I refrain. I refrain from opening my mouth at times. I won't put my hands on anyone, but my tongue and mouth will slice you up. If the truth hurts, oh well, I'll deal with it. <laughs> I love it. Let's just say your boy came from the hood. <laughs> you know what I mean? We, we handle things very differently where I come from. Also, you gotta think about your age, too. We, don't, we didn't do this keyboard warrior thing. 
you know, like we actually get down. So <laughs> I gotta try and keep that at bay. Gearhead, what's up, buddy? Oh, I like this. Us plus a bus. Follower number means nothing. I guarantee you have a way more loyal. Oh, where to go? Oh, YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Just, I watched YouTube that one just happen. like pushed me away. You have a way more loyal following than. Oh no no no! It. It's all about people. You know, good people. There's so many rad people right here watching this chat, and us plus of us. I can tell you're good people. The thing is, is I always tell people birds of a feather flock together, right? Like, you, your vibe attracts your tribe, you know? Uh, I have a lot of respect for you guys um, and how you conduct yourself and how giving you are. I, I don't know. I can, just, I can just tell you guys are, are awesome folk. But uh, just ended, this is super important. Sharon Smith says, come on, you got to help Levi with his bus one day. Super important head to coach. <laughs> I help Levi with his whole life every day. <laughs> we're not getting to that one. Just, I had to buy good. this man a coat the other day. But it was two fifty. Two dollars and fifty cents. He, he bought me a two dollar fifty cent coat. Yo, well, all right, I'll tell this story real quick. So we were at the outlet because homeboy ain't used to being in like the woods in Oregon in the winter. So I come from East Coast. It gets cold, but nothing like out this way. Yeah. So I was like, this dude needs to get a coat. So, I, I have shorts. My entire wardrobe is shorts so and shirts. We went to the outlet mall and you can get crazy good deals at the outlet mall. And I was like, and this guy you can't find nothing that fits him. And so you know they have the big and tall well, that's more big than bro, tall. Anyways, so I found this, it was like eleven dollars. It was eleven dollar fleece marked down for fifty bucks. And then it was 20% off of that. I was like, bro, if this fits you, I'll buy it for you. <laughs> and then I had a $20 credit in my account. I For $5, I bought Levi a $50 fleece, and I got a pair of shorts for five bucks. Mm -hmm. All right. It was, oh, it's a super nice jacket. I'm going to have to put it on after this. It's starting to get cold. Yeah. Uh, oh, ready, set, element in the house. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice name. Uh, uh, Melissa Malzone, I'm the same Isaac, only good people in my life, 100. I will not hesitate to cut you out if you are a negative influence in my life. Uh, Cindy Brown, oh. Gordon Dolby, I've learned so much from you guys. Keep up the good work. Thank you, my dude. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, what? Tara Hill, uh, Hillier says, my granddaughter, April, says Ember is beautiful, and hello, she's 10. And watches every ninth element, Levi, uh, Leave Her Wild, and everyone. She is a big fan. I feel uh, so special. Oh, that's awesome. Right, my mom is sending me the same text over and over and over I again. I saw that too. So I'm going to go see what she's doing. What is she sending me over and over and over again? Okay, so Ann Finkenstamp sent a $100 PayPal that last a, yep. chat. Help with the big bus, Nana Ann. Ann Finkenstamp, <laughs> thank you so much. Right now, I am bleeding money. So You've got to it, pronounce that right. What? And Finkenstein. Fink, fink Thanks, Finkenstein. Okay, there you go. Appreciate it. I'm blowing money like crazy building two, well, I built one and I'm building another one right now. No, stop. <laughs> Lorraine Keller sent you $50. A little something toward the big bus. Thank you. Fern put a message. I lost brakes on a huge mountain in a U-Haul on ice. It was horrifying. Wow. Was that it, is no bueno. Was it air brakes? Uh, it was a U-Haul, so I'm assuming not. Oh. They're pretty cheap oh, products. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah. um, had 50 miles more to coast down. Oh my god. Okay. That's kind of crazy. Karate Mom 68 we love you all. We can feel your genuine love for your subscribers. That's why we stay. Oh, Isaac loves the subscribers. People, I don't like calling you guys subscribers. Pete Isaac loves his people. No, I'm gonna call y'all homies. <laughs> All right, one more jingle. Isaac uh, loves his homies. <laughs> us plus a bus. We considered a box truck before we came across a schoolie. You have to get a big box truck for a family. Yeah. I mean, they have them for sure. Yeah. Diane Cisneros, I thought you were on tomorrow. Diane, nah, I've been doing Thursday. Uh, at five for a long time on the uh, 
on the what you call it. See, I'm really bad about keeping your schedule, but I'm got to figure out my own schedule as well. You got to go weekly because I go weeks in between without I like streaming sometimes. So Paul Honeyman just dropped us plus a bus their YouTube channel. Um, they're they're just such good people. Definitely go check them out. They're killing the shorts right now. And they are definitely my inspiration for why I'm doing a lot of shorts right now. So just a heads up, folks. Amanda Sinclair said, uh, please tell people to check if they are subbed to me. Apparently, YouTube has been unsubscribing people. That's because so many people are buying subscribers. YouTube's got to go in and try and check people out. I didn't think about that. That's weird how they do that. Oh, yeah, it's man. like if even if, if you have a large subscriber count, nothing will happen if you know your content's not being enjoyed. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm pushing down, y'all. <laughs> Us plus a bus, hundred percent, Isaac. That's why our bus is taking forever. Ha ha. I just want to hang with my family. I feel you. I want to do the same thing. That's it's why time for me to start a fan as well, so. <laughs> Ladies. Oh. Hey, I'm 26, almost 27. It's it's getting, yeah. getting to that age. Time to have my own little baby Ember. Yeah. Okay, I'm pushing down a bit, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, I know I'm so behind. Uh, Wild Flowers. Miles and Lala just up uploaded a video on the nicest roof rays I've ever seen. Y'all check it out. Their channels deserve to grow. Yeah, Miles and Sinclair are amazing. They actually were at my shop last summer in their old bus for, I don't know, probably a week. Awesome people. So a couple ones. Mm. Karate Mom says, my bad, we know you love your homies and we love you back. Ready Set Element had a really good one. I, 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 oh, I Ready Set see... Element's in here? Yeah. That's the homie, bro. He said, I want to see you convert a Honda Element, and I'm actually kind of curious. I would love to see that, too. Honestly, if, bro? No, if we could get a full sponsor to convert an Element, wouldn't that be something else? I owned a Honda Element. I never really said it on the channel. <laughs> I kind of regret selling it. <laughs> it was such a rad car. I don't know. I messed up. But, you know, things happen. So, <laughs> would I ever uh, convert an element? 100%. I was actually going to do it on this channel um, when I had one. I was going to do like a weekend warrior building one so I could go like shoot tours with it. And then I sold it. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't want a bunch of stuff. Jewel knows says they grow up way too fast. Um, Justin and Lori, will you guys be going to the bus fair? Now, the bus fair, I've actually, I went the first year that, uh, it happened. that it happened, yeah, and I really, the, the, the Isn't guy, our homeboy who threw that? Yeah. Okay. The yeah. guy who runs it has done a lot for me. The guy who owns that event. Um, <clears throat> I will say this. I'm very, very hesitant to commit to anything next year because like I'm literally going to be free <laughs> you know what I'm saying so it's like when the big bus is that done that sound good to say that well yeah dude like when the big bus is done like I don't want I, I'm very hesitant to make a commitment to anybody or anything because I want to be able to just drive wherever my heart takes me mm -hmm. you know and not have a date I need to be somewhere Mm -hmm. So, by the way, Drew's up uh, in the house. What's up, Drew Lands, buddy? Uh, all right, I'm pushing down, bro. <laughs> uh, Michelle Wood, or, uh, Michael, sorry. So, yeah, Levi, slow down, hot rod. The wind will make you dead before your time. <laughs> uh, bro, I just seen what so Bush Bushcraft family, a bus life story. Oh my gosh, YouTube is mad at me. What do you think of shuttle buses? Um I'm never gonna lie to you guys. So I don't like shuttle buses at all. They're just not my thing. Uh they're fiberglass. I don't know, I just I got a thing for a school bus, it's steel. You know, the, now there are 100%, there are advantages to a shuttle bus. It's lighter, gets better fuel economy. Um, 
the windows I actually think are even better too, like as far as insulation wise. So, <clears throat> do I personally like shuttle buses? Not at all. I would never build one. Um, but are they great conversions to build? For sure. Just so confident, no. It will no, never, never happen. Been. But it's like, you know, that's like a Ford guy and like a and like a Chevy guy. You know, they're they're both great rigs. It's just it's preference thing. Mm. There's nothing wrong with a shuttle bus. I just like schoolies better. <laughs> um Okay. I'm pushing down, pushing down. I'm pushing down. Uh, Campbell's Isaac question or question Isaac what is the bus design plan Campbell's creation I actually plan on doing a layout video I just have no time <laughs> especially with how much we need to finish in the big bus before with, you can with the rain out. coming I'm trying to get the windows back in here get the roof done and get this thing sealed up literally ASAP mm -hmm. and I literally don't have downtime January 1st I lose the bigger bay so it's like this big this thing's got to be done January 1st so and unfortunately for me that means we've got to go <laughs> so it's like do I want to stop and make a video about the layout you're dang right can I not sure <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect Charles GS the hood or the streets both, mate. Wow, you're really far. I out. am that far behind. You're okay. that far. I'm pushing. That I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Ago. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I'm pushing down. Jules notices. I just got noticed. YouTube sucks. I just now got noticed. I Either know. I think it's like you only just got the notification, oh. or just noticed that it's removing the subscribers. Really weird. Mm. Or you're removing their subscriptions. Ready, set, element, 16-hour work shift today at the hospital. Dang, homie. Ooh. I will say this, bro. If you come across a black 2005 Honda Element EX with the e-camper, it's got to be all those things. I might be interested. Uh, <laughs> Pat Barr says, hey, guys, how was your breathing today? 500, air quality eh. index. We're so used to it, it's weird when we're not smoking smoke. <laughs> you know, we were out of the coast, I was like, I feel weird. Yeah, he's not wrong. Oh, new cat. Oh, we gotta go eat it. Ooh, what is it? Chinese food. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, have yeah, you not heard? They say dogs and cats, they use dogs and cats in Chinese food. That's like a long, long time stereotype. <laughs> Chinese food. <laughs> Don't ready, hate me. Ready, I set, never ready set element. How's your element doing? You got a red one, right? Ready set element. I sold it. I got a thing about not wanting things. <laughs> and I didn't need it when I bought the Jeep, so I sold it. But I don't know if that was the right move. The Jeep is pretty rad, though. Uh, if you haven't seen. Brain fart. Mindy's. Element right now, the if you haven't uh, seen it, uh, being she, lifted. Had, she hasn't put that out. Okay, I won't say anything else. Uh, you haven't seen it. You gotta be that's careful, bro. Yeah, that's why we're regretful of why he probably sold it. I don't know. What are you doing, bro? I'm just looking around. Okay. Sugar high? I might be sugar high. <laughs> that means sister host, ten dollars super sticker, number one fan with a pair, man. Thank you. Oh snap! It's so adorable! <laughs> uh, okay, I'm pushing down to Mackenzie Pearson saying what up. I'm apologizing if I'm missing your stuff. I'm pushing down because I'm like so far behind. So we have to not answer long-winded. We gotta be quick. Alright, I'm gonna give you the longest winded question no. out there. Enjoy blessed life. We have been <laughs> out capturing Smoky Mountains Fall. Got my first GoPro filled with 32 gigabytes of memory card in it. Jay! Nice! Be careful with them GoPros. They like to corrupt cards. I can't even use my GoPro. It I can't use mine all anymore. My footage, which is really they, they're important. great cameras. They're unreliable. Oh, they capture good quality. This, the internals are weird. Paul Hunnaman, you sold your element to get a Jeep? Great choice. <laughs> uh, I did. I sold the element to get a Jeep. And it's a really cool Jeep. 
<laughs> Lindsay says G equals just empty every pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> that thing's had one. so many. I've never had so many problems with the vehicle that I've had with that dang G. <laughs> never. I've always owned Toyotas and Hondas, and I swear I never did anything but change the oil. As soon as I bought it, G, I'm at the dang mechanic every other day. And like for Crystal, thrift stores are my friend. Hardly pay, hardly pay full price for anything. Oh yeah. You just you can't find solar at the thrift store. Um, oh wow. What? Just another Lori put because of the big fire here in the eighteen the eighteen housing insurance has tripled or been cancelled. So the shop rent will probably go up. Oh my gosh. No. No, bro. Oh, here's one that I think you would love to answer. What? Melissa says, are you towing the Jeep behind the big bus? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so that's so that's another reason I, I did the Jeep over the Element. So I bought the Element because I needed a car to put a car seat in. Um, and 2005 was the last year the Honda Element was flat towable, right? So the whole, the whole plan with the Element was to flat tow it behind the big bus. The problem with flat towing on the Element is you can only drive 300 miles in one day and you can't go over 60 without damaging the transmission. Wow. So. That's kind of bad. I mean, you just got to be careful. The thing about a Jeep Wrangler, <clears throat> unlimited. You drive however fast you want, however long you want, they're literally made to be flat towed. Peace out, Lisa, up in the chat. Hi. <laughs> Um, oh, and it says Mindy did a live feed from the shop that was being worked on, but not after it was finished. So I'm pretty sure she talked about what it was worked on. Well, that's good then. I didn't, I didn't give away anything she hadn't already. Uh, <laughs> Campbell, yo, I'm at the end of the chat, so I don't know if I missed something, but I'm at the end here. Paul Huntingman says Ford equals fix on road oh, daily. Oh, bro, I yeah, love so Fords. I love them 7.3s, baby. <laughs> Uh, Thea Brawley, I have a white element that changes colors. I named her Pearl. She's in all-wheel drive. That's awesome. Amanda Sinclair, still got your MR2, though. My daughter won't part with hers. It's been garaged for 20 years now. The MR2, I will never <laughs> get rid of. I will get a storage unit for that car. That <laughs> car is personal. <laughs> so that was the first car I bought when I was 16 years old. Oh, snap. I saved my money and bought that with my own money, cash, wow. when I was 16. And it was stolen, stripped, and dumped in the Willamette River. Wow. So I basically just unloaded it for $500 after it was towed out of the river. And my, I don't know, it was one of those cars I always missed. My mom and JD got me the car probably about five years later. It was in a field somewhere. And my stepdad and I spent another year putting the MR2 back on the road. So that car is very, very personal to me. That's why I'll never sell that car. Uh, one of these days, when I have time and money, I'm going to rebuild it. Sharon Smith, I won't read your comment out loud, but thank you so much. You're a super awesome person. Oh. Stuck uh, all the way to the ball. Hutchy four, not true. <clears throat> he's talking about the Honda Element, not if it's a manual. Hutchy four, I didn't think about that. Um, yeah, oh. you you might be right. I I, I don't know. I, the thing is, I just can't have a manual because of Jaylena. She can't really drive a stick. I can't me. drive at all. <laughs> I can drive a stick all day. I've never learned. Um, but <laughs> that's why I can't have. Uh, um, uh, a manual vehicle <clears throat> to tow behind the bus. They have a uh, brawly, brawl, brawly. I have a white element that changes color. I named her Pearl. She's a whole wheels drive. Bro, I already read that comment. Oh, have you? I'm Come not on, paying man. attention to I you. I know you're not, bro. Come on, mate. <laughs> Get on the page, bro. That one was on purpose. <laughs> uh, Michael Wood. I figured that roof would be framed out today. Well, you know, old Levi. Hey. We can't be blamed. <laughs> we spent all day traveling to get back. We didn't get back till 10.30. I've been out here working on... So Levi did a video today. He's been editing and filming. I, I had something that um, had to happen today. I've been out here working on the window sills. <laughs> so the framing is Levi's job. But, but no, if you've noticed that the framing, there's only the curves. That yeah. cannot take that long. And now that i figured out self-tapping 
screws that you just drill right through wood yeah. oh it's gonna go it's gonna fly i'll be done it's gonna friggin rip <laughs> uh, uh where did i go <clears throat> Um, but yeah, so I got one, I got one whole side, uh oh, we got a thing over there. I got one whole side of the bus, the window frames are completely scraped, ready to get, ready to get cleaned up and resealed. I got some windows on the other side, but I should be able to finish all those window sills tomorrow, maybe even put the deletes in. So, we'll see. <laughs> Paul Honeyman, Isaac, the MR2 in the UK is known as the hairdresser's car. <laughs> I am definitely not a hairdresser. I don't remember the last time I combed my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> Madeline Hager, is it hard to build a bus? Yes. 1,000 million percent. We don't want to scare you away from it, but, but if you're going to do it, be prepared. Just mentally prepare to get beat up. <laughs> and if you can't get beat up, don't build a bus. I have so many cuts all over my hand, and I get more daily. Bro, I got scars all he's over. He's got me. scars, but he's been doing that longer than I've had time. whole saws jump out and take me out. <laughs> I should have laughed, but that's funny. <laughs> um, where'd it go? GS Trailblazer. Don't forget your local hardware store has plenty of two by twos, but don't got any mountable zip ties. You're talking like you know me, bro. <laughs> Do you actually work at the hardware store here? Oh, snap. I don't think anybody knows I've been in there looking for mountable zip ties except for the dudes at the hardware store there. Right? Even I didn't know that one. Huh. Joy, bless life. Can you recharge GoPro and Volta sticks anytime before it needs it? Yeah. Without it losing battery life. Yeah. You can, so I have a little trick when I do time lapses when I use GoPros. I just plug it into a power station and it would just stay charged up. Okay, good to know. Uh, Drew's lens. I have like 10 Chevys, bro. <laughs> uh, dude, I want a 1964 Chevy Impala SS drop top. That's one of my favorite cars of all time. Uh, e. Whitaker. I have a 2003 short bus paired 4500. I don't know what that means paired, but that's a good bus. Um, Diane Cisneros, where are the deletes going? <clears throat> so, I should do a whole video on why deletes are awesome, honestly. Now, I hate losing light. Um, so I don't like deleting, but the problem is if you look, you see how each one of those ribs behind me is like maybe an inch thick? right so i don't like to put a wall up unless it's on that rib i don't like to put walls up over windows you can do it i just don't like doing it right so the thing about the thing about deleting a window is now instead of having a wall hit on one of those studs i have all that extra room for a wall to hit it just it just gives me more room so basically, the deletes in this bus are going in the shower, the bathroom, and the closet. All things that I, I don't necessarily need a window for. That yeah, is true. I thought I was going to try and keep the window in the toilet stall, but the same thing, I didn't like where the wall actually landed. And I just, I don't know, I have a thing against putting a, a, a wall up on a window. I don't like doing it. Dave Brawley says, I love watching y'all. Y'all are my favorite channels. But I have to admit, Little Ember is the star of them all. 100%. <laughs> I've noticed you've been dropping since Ember ain't been here. <laughs> That's not good. I'm just playing. <laughs> I miss my little baby girl. Yeah, so I stopped watching when she wasn't here either. I mean, I uh, support. <laughs> uh, yo, wow. the Goodman, 63 Lincoln MK2, <laughs> the sexiest Ford. Man. Oh, BC Bullcrap says, I remember your mullet. <laughs> As if with a mullet, oh my god. <laughs> He's old enough for one, too. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's right, I did have a mullet. <laughs> Holy crap! I forgot about Dude. that. Dude! Oh, I need to find oh, pictures of that. Man. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> that's, that was 
last year, my friend Tiffany came here, and I was like, I want a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> and she cut me, she cut me a mullet, dude. It was epic. I kind of want one back now. <laughs> uh, Paul Honeyman, did True, we, I did. I did, did we just hear Halo? Yes, you he just heard Halo. <laughs> Uh, she just rolled through and said, give me love now. <laughs> yeah, Charles, GS, Tiffany, give me more. I literally forgot about that, honestly. <laughs> Yo, so we got about 10 minutes left. So, if anybody's got any, like, last minute questions or anything that's a burning desire or whatever, um... <laughs> You know, now's the time to throw it in here. <laughs> Drew says, Le uh, did Levi just meow? <laughs> I said, yeah. He did. And then it was followed up with, uh, where's that message? Uh, Lindsay says, Levi's stomach meowed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're silly. Pam Polite, $20 <laughs> super chat for Isaac to buy Levi a drink. Blah, blah, blah. Yes! I buy Levi almost all his food. <laughs> he does. Uh, I'm getting there. I'm slowly getting there. I uh, know, thanks to Isaac pressuring, peer pressuring me, and I'm not going to praise it any other way, thanks to Isaac peer pressuring me, I've been doing a lot more about trying to get content out, like enjoyable, and really get into that mindset, so things are looking up slowly, very slowly, but surely, things are looking up. Yeah. It's peer pressure, guys, I need help. Uh, <laughs> He's bullying me. Florida Chicks, Tiny Adventures, hey boys, oh. YouTube just freaking uh, made it to the, my first live, dude. Quick chore choreographed, fudge that word, choreographed dance. Made it to my first live, dude. Quick choreographed uh, dance. Um, how does how does uh I want it that way start? Uh, I want it that way. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why was it other than I hear you say? I want it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh man, what happened? It wasn't choreographed, but. There you go. <laughs> um, BC Bullcrap. Have your window deletes ever failed? Definitely not, and I honestly don't see how they ever could. They are literally steel. You know what I'm saying? Charles, yes, the sun goes down, Levi gets up on the fence and meows. Uh, Cindy Brown, any luck selling Brewster? So, you guys have been around my channel long enough to witness me sell quite a few buses around here. Every time I list the bus, I always get flooded with, you know, tire kickers. Every single time. And they're, well, they and they're, sell it for and they're, them. and they're always the ones that are asking a million questions. Right? So I've done this a few times now to know that when the buyer shows up, he's like, how can I send you money? That's it. That's his first question. And you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so nobody has messaged me yet saying how do I transfer money to your bank account there's a lot of questions and you know I know how it goes like I said this ain't my first rodeo yep um I'm just gonna wake up one day and there's gonna be an email that says how do I send you money I'm like well yep stop with a phone call <laughs> so Sydney Brown says Levi did you get any tires yet so Sydney talk about that for a little bit I did not get any tires just yet I'm still aiming for them but at this point in time, I'm no longer in a rush to get the tires. It's getting cold out. And frankly, just leaving at this time would not be the best of things. Not unless you got KO2s on there. Mm -hmm. Not only that, if I do leave anywhere, it's going to be so cold to get out and do anything. No, oh, that's called man up. <laughs> sure, <laughs> that's what it is. I'll just go lay in the snow jacketless. Get a jacket, bro. No, it's called manning up. It's both. <laughs> Navasi. Uh, to put in a closet over the wheel, over the wheel well, should you put a box over it first? Navasi, it really just depends. You know? People put boxes over the wheel wells to insulate it, number one. 
And they also put a box over it to make it usable space, right? Mm -hmm. So now it's like a flat shelf, things can lean on. If it's a wheel well, like everything kind of, you know. So it depends. Everybody just putting boxes over the wheel wells, I'm not necessarily a fan. I think it depends on what's happening there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why would you put a box over it just to cover it with something else and then it don't matter? Mm -hmm. So I, I think it just really depends on your needs. That's what I tell people all the time. There is no book on how to build your bus. There is no how you have to do it to build your bus. It's like, it depends on what you're doing and what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got J Mikey 417 or Mike Q says, we'll self tapping screws. Uh, split out the two by twos, or do you pre-drill them first? Oh, yeah, so yeah. I was pre-drilling, <clears throat> and then I learned that that was a colossal waste of time, <laughs> and I beat myself up over every time I look at this friggin' framing. You just have to be careful. Once you get through the metal, the screws are so long and take so long to actually drill all the way in that you you have plenty of time to stop yourself before you actually drill too far and split the two by twos. So you're perfectly fine. If you're worried, just get longer screws. Because all that extra time to actually drill through will easily allow you no mistakes. Yeah, so Uncle Bo, bus life story. When you and the family start doing 50 states, are you going to have a meet and greet? Uncle Bo, I'm going to put out a record and we're going to go on a music tour. <laughs> we're going to play shows in all 50 states. So, oh, yeah. So you guys can come to the show, hang out, and buy. We might split, but we'll, I'll get a ticket to meet up at the show every time. <laughs> going to have to be that backup choreographed dancer right there. Debbie Herman. Isaac, is the kitties going to have a pull-out litter and food storage built into the bill? Debbie Herman, I need to do something for the cats. I know I'm doing it, but have not mentally crossed that bridge yet. Through... Uh, Drew asks, what are the first three steps you do when building a bus? What do I do? Demolition first. first. Full demolition. Well, the first thing I do is get the dang seats out. That way I can see what I'm working with. Demolition. And not only that, I can use it to go get lumber, material. Like getting the seats out, it's like pry or rub to you one. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, let's see. Number two. <laughs> um, <laughs> man. I guess from there, it really depends. Number two, I would make a decision on the windows. Am I just gonna cut the cock lines out, or am I gonna put the new ones, or am I gonna pull the window? It just depends on how bad the, the cock lines are. Um, I, I'm gonna make a decision on windows, whether I'm pulling them or leaving them. That's number two. And then number three would be probably deciding um, <laughs> whether I'm going to fully gut it or not. Uh, and there's a lot of factors on that. Desert buses. I have yet to pull a floor out of a desert bus and see rust. I'm aiming for a desert bus for And sure. I've probably done three or four. <clears throat> um, this bus, uh, the big bus, is from the coast on Oregon, and it was the worst floor I've ever seen. So, I, honestly, a lot of it's decision-making, but, you know, but number one priority is get the seats out. So, question for you real quick. How do I hide a message without doing anything else? Well, honey, put a, put a message and I just, you don't need to see it. <laughs> well, honey, man, put a message. I just, you just don't need to see it. Huh. <laughs> Good, he moved along. Perfect. <laughs> He'll never see it. <sighs> That face Isaac made on the syrup video was epic. <laughs> Sipping on some syrup. Uh, oh, I love our shorts. They are too fun. Debbie, uh, yeah, we, uh, we're, we're excited to get back on the shorts game tomorrow. Be ready. We don't know what we're doing, but we'll do something. Oh, I, I think I got, I still know two shorts that I really want to make happen. Uh, Debbie Conway, acoustics are great in there. Debbie, thank you. We kind of look at you as our aunt now. <laughs> uh, but thank you. Um, That's funny. Rachel Philpot L.E. says, Damn it, y'all, I just sang along with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just to let you know, me and Levi were talking, because we've been just kind of lip syncing, like, for fun. Like, not trying to do nothing, don't care about nothing, just having fun. But we might have like, man, maybe we should up our game a little bit. And then we started choreographing. Yep. And that's fun. 
But now Levi and I are talking about it. We're like, you know what? Maybe we should start doing acapella, bro. <laughs> you know? Isaac already has the title to a song, and that's one I really want him to accomplish. I won't give you the full name, but I'm just going to drop the word bag. <laughs> just going to drop that word. Bye. You, good luck. <laughs> Katie, Penny uh, Cadenas, is the big bus going to have KO2s? Penny, if it could, it will. I love BF Goodrich KO2s. The problem is this is a commercial bus, which means it has a 22 and a half wheel, which means tires for this are, you know, probably five to seven thousand dollars. I'm freezing. And I don't go get your fleece, bro. Go show me your two dollar fleece, I gotta bro. I got to show my two dollar fleece. Hey, I'll be back. we're gonna show you guys the two dollar <laughs> fleece. I got to revive. But uh, I don't know. I have no idea what my options are for the tires on this bus. But if KR2 KO2s are an option, I'm gonna make it happen. I have to interrupt you right quick. What? Espresso said we love you, Levi. <laughs> uh, um. All right, y'all, I'm trying to figure this out. Um, I'm, uh, I just got lost. <laughs> My bad, I need a second. <laughs> uh, What's up? Jimmy, oh, hey, hold up. Look at this. <laughs> This is a Columbia fleece, yo. I, just, I was just thinking about it after I put it on, walking over. I was like, I look like a coach now. I'm like, that's like a that's a two dollar and fifty cent fleece. And it is warm. If you believe, it can be. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Isaac was looking around. This is a three X tall. Yeah. And it's not so wide, but it's long enough, and I love it. That was, you, that was Levi's Christmas present. Two dollar fifty cents, please. Uh, all right, y'all. So we've been on here for an hour. So I'm gonna try and answer the questions that are already here, and then uh, we're gonna Levi and I are gonna figure out what we're gonna go eat. Uh, J Mike W four seventeen. I think you should write a coffee table book on traveling to fifty states in a bus. Chapter one. Can I have pictures of the bill? That would actually be really cool. Um, but I have my eyes set on literally making a movie. So I love video. I've done video before I did YouTube. And one of the projects that I have always wanted to do is literally to direct film and produce like a legit movie. Now, are, are we talking about like a actual plotline? An actual movie? movie. Oh, snap! Like, not some little funny blog thing, like an actual, legit film. How long? Anywhere from an hour to two hours? Yep. Long. Yep. It's been a goal of mine, so I'm the type of person where I have a goal, I do it. Y'all should, if you're not in that habit, I recommend it. Mm -hmm. Anytime you have an idea or a goal, just do it with me. Make it happen. Yeah. So Everyone that, is saying, nice jacket. So that's something I'm, I'm definitely going to do, and that's probably something I'm going to do after the shop. I'm probably going to try and make a movie. Um, okay, pushing down. Whoa. People love the jacket. Whoa. Thank you, guys. Listen to this. Uh -oh. Jaylena, we just had to call the cops on some weird person in the neighborhood. Definitely not sleeping in the bus tonight. Oh, snap. Wow. That's why I saw all the stay safes towards her. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, Jaylena is at her mom, or not her mom's, but her sister's right now. And it's my mom. So, my mom's she, she is in a safe place, but I'm definitely going to find out what's going on there. Heck yeah. Um, Catherine Polson, all your builds are top notch, and this one will be even more special for your gorgeous family. You love you and Levi singing, cracks me up, have fun in the crazy world at the moment. Thank you. <laughs> Espresso, Levi, you know everybody's here just because of you. They know that you're looking for a woman. <laughs> <laughs> His hidden lovers, as he likes to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love that, dude. <laughs> um, all right, y'all. I'm pushing through here um, so that I can get off here and see what's going on with Jaylena. Okay. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. It's always fun. 
this is our way to just talk to you guys and try and answer mm -hmm. questions. And uh, we really appreciate you guys coming every week, Thursday at 5. We really appreciate you guys showing up to all the videos and commenting and just being like a literal community. <laughs> like, we're, we're very, very grateful. Um, you're not going to want to miss the vlog of Levi and I living in a four-window bus together for a few days. <laughs> it's coming out Tuesday. I think I'm going to try and edit mine tonight. I'm going to do the same, yeah. Um, but, yo. <laughs> we had some We had some moments. moments. We, uh, I think we even got in a fight. <laughs> Physical. Um, we, so, we may or may not have. You might want to watch those. <laughs> Figure out where to find it. <laughs> All right. Yo, love, peace, chicken, grease. Love. Peace out. Bye, guys. Have fun. <laughs>